Hey Mainer ISD, my name is Wayne and I want to thank you for inviting me as we honor and celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Uh, so currently I live in Austin, Texas. I wrote a children's book. It's called The Sarape. I really hope you enjoy it and I'm excited to share it with you all. Nestled in the hills of Mexico were several farms. Life was simple for these Mexican villagers. They farmed throughout the week and all the family members helped in one way or another, taking great pride in their heritage. One family in particular had a very well-known little boy. He was the youngest of three children. He would get lost in nature and distract the other children from their farm duties. He liked to pick flowers, admire the sky, and listen to the music that came from the wind as it traveled through the hills. His older brothers worked just a little bit harder to pick up the work that Carlitos would not do. But his papa was not so understanding. Carlitos, donde estas? Where are you? The corn husks need to be peeled and the tomatoes need to be washed. We have a long day tomorrow and the less work we get done today, the more work we have to do in the morning. Si, papa. But I was sorting the corn by color first. No, it's all corn. It's all the same. It's clean the same and cut the same. There is no difference. Elote es elote. Corn is corn. Respectful to his papa, Carlitos tended to his duties and began preparing the produce for the market. Every Saturday, Carlitos and his family walked to the market set up a stand, and sowed their produce. Week after week, Carlitos made the same walk to the market with his horse by his side. He brought the same produce to the same market to sell. He set up the stand the same way and talked to the same people. After a while, he started to get bored and would pick up items on the way to the market to make the stand more attractive to the shoppers. Sometimes, he had tree branches and made nest-like baskets out of them. Other times, he put the produce in a bed of flowers. Carlitos' stand quickly started to become popular, not because of what he was selling, but because the people enjoyed coming to see how he decorated the stand that week. One weekend, as Carlitos was cleaning the stand, he threw the dirty towels over his horse. These towels were stained with red juices from the tomatoes. As Carlitos was putting the horse back in the pen, he stopped to admire the sunset. The pink-orange of the setting sun reflected off the dirty red towel on the horse's back. Suddenly, Carlitos had an idea. Throughout the week, Carlitos would sneak into his abuela's room and slowly sew patterns onto sarapes, which were long, shawl-like blankets worn by the people in his village. He practiced on plain brown saddle sarapes that were meant for his family's horses. When it was finally time to travel to the market, Carlitos proudly put the new blanket on his horse for the journey. Over the next month, Carlitos continued to sneak into his abuela's room and create patterns on white saddle blankets that he found around the village. He made blankets with the colors of the sunsets. He made blankets with the colors of the sunrises. He made blankets with the colors of the flower beds. He made blankets with the colors of the birds that flew in the yard. He made, he, before he knew it, he had more blankets than he was able to store. That's when his papa found them and discovered that Carlitos was skipping his farm duties to make blankets. Guess that's all. What is this, ya papa? As soon as harape, papa. We work hard in this family, stormed his papa. The farm needs you. 
Being strong means you work hard with your family in the fields, picking the corn and tending to the vegetables. You will help us on the farm. Esto tomina hoy. Blanket making ends today. Papa immediately had Abuelo's door locked during the day and demanded that Carlitos get rid of the blankets at once. Carlitos was sad, but he knew he had to obey his papa. Carlitos did not want to throw the blankets away. So during the week, Carlitos took a couple blankets to different families in the village. They loved them. All around him, Carlitos heard, Que hermoso! How beautiful! He quickly found that the villagers would give him money for these beautiful blankets. They were also asking for more. One lady wanted to add diamond shapes to her next blanket to represent her family members as the stars. Another man asked for a thunderbird on his sarape to represent strength. Carlitos could not say no. He loved making these blankets, but he was scared that he would disappoint his papa and his family if he continued to make them. He knew if he wanted to keep making the blankets, his papa needed to approve. Secretly, Carlitos made the blankets for his mama, then his papa, then his abuela, then he made blankets for his two brothers. Each blanket had six vibrant, bold sections, and each design was located in a different place. When the time came to present the blankets to his family, Carlito, Carlitos was very nervous. First, he gave his mama and abuela their blankets, each unique in color but containing the same design. Then he gave his brothers their blankets. Last, he anxiously gave his papa the blanket. He explained that the design was to remember and honor their family as farmers. Each triangle represented a family member and that is why Papa had his triangle at the top of the blanket. The triangle itself was a symbol of crops. As his father looked up, he saw his wife's eyes light up as she wrapped herself in the blanket. He looked to the left and saw his mother smile big. Her gray hair looked so beautiful as she wrapped herself in the blanket. At that moment, Papa knew he could not stop Carlitos from designing these blankets. Before the season's end, people were coming to the market from villages all across Mexico just to buy Carlitos' sarapes. With smiles on their faces and proud eyes, Carlitos' mama and papa could feel the warmth he was bringing to families through his blankets. They understood that these blankets were one of a kind, just like their son. <laughs>